Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So today we'll take a look at the Sunday Swap Dex, which is now live on the mainnet for Cardano. So when it went live the other night, it really did highlight how important scalability is going to be for Cardano because even before it went live, the chain was running at 90, 92% of capacity. When it went live, we seen thousands and thousands of transactions trying to get through within the first few minutes. We also seen wallet providers going down uh, because they had never seen volume like this before, but it has been a learning experience for everyone involved, I would say, IOG, SundaySwap, different providers out there as well. And what I'm gonna talk about is some of the issues people are probably seeing out there and talk a little bit about how the DEX actually works with its orders so you can understand that and see why orders might be sitting there for hours at the minute. And then you can decide what you want to do with them because when you put an order through on Sunday Swap, if it doesn't execute there and then in terms of if the price goes outside your range, then it will sit there as a limit order waiting for the price to come back down. But you can go in there and cancel that at any stage either. So the markets outside this not looking great today. Overall in crypto, the stocks haven't been great the last few days. So personally, I'm waiting for the stock market to open tomorrow to have a look at what's going on then. But in this one, we will stick with Sunday Swap. If you think others can benefit from it, please do share it out there. Let me know your own comments down below as well. And don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump into it. Okay, so you can see the decks here is live. And what I'm going to take you through is into the actual swaps. So what you see here is the price now for Sunday Swap is sitting at 0.88 ADA. When it launched first, it was 0.11. So a lot of people went in at the 0.11 and they put in their transaction at that stage. So when they put in their exchange here, so they would have been going from ADA into Sunday. So you put in your amount you wanted. So let's say 1,000 ADA you were looking to swap. It told you here how much you were expecting to get. And if you had the default 1.25 tolerance here, which is slippage, this means how much less you're willing to accept of the token. If we look at that here, so it's telling me the swap would go through 1000 ADA would give me 1124 Sunday. If I expand this out here, you can see with my slippage, which was standard of 1.25%, I'm also willing to accept 1110 Sunday back. So when the price moved so quick, going from 0.11 ADA per Sunday, all the way up to, I think it was up at 0 0.2, 0 0.3 within the first few hours, then a lot of people's orders were just sitting there because what this doesn't take into account here, it's telling me this slippage here will be very small on the liquidity pool, but what it doesn't take into account is other orders that come in and get in in front of me, which will move the price before mine actually gets executed. So if that happens, if a few orders come in ahead of me in the queue, then what they do is they push the price up. So the price goes outside of what I have set is the minimum amount of tokens or that I'm willing to accept or the maximum price I'm able to accept. So for me personally, when I come in here, when I put in my order on launch, I actually put in an 80% slippage, which was fairly crazy. I would never normally do something like that, but I was expecting the price to run fairly quickly. So I put in a high slippage to see what would happen. So the trade didn't go through on that night because there was so many going through, everything was congested. I left it. And the next day when I went in, I seen that my trade had actually executed. So when I put in my trade, I put in 5,000 ADA, and I wanted Sunday Swap back. At the time, it was 5,000 ADA, and they told me, I think it was something around 45,000 Sunday I would expect to get back if it executed there and then. But with my 80% slippage, so you can see here with a 1.25, it, it would say here that I'm willing to accept 5,552 Sunday back. But for me, with my crazy slippage of 80%, if I put that in on this trade, you can see here that it says that I would also be happy to accept back 1,124 Sunday. I would not do that at this price. I done that because of the fact that I was expecting the price to jump fairly quickly. When I seen it hadn't gone through in the first while, I wasn't expecting it to go through, but you can see here under my orders, 5,000 ADA gave me 10,080 Sunday. 
the liquidity provider fee 15 ADA and the price that I got in the end was 0 0.495 so if you had the default slippage then it means you probably have orders sitting here in on-chain open orders right now so if we look over on Sunday swap they have put in a new feature which was definitely needed to show you where your order actually sits so you can see here now if you had an order what you will see is what the order was the maximum price you were willing to pay this is based on what the price was when you submitted your order and what the actual slippage you set was shows you the current price and then shows you the status of your order so even if your order comes up to be scooped then it's not going to be processed because it's outside of the price target that you set so you can leave that order sitting there and that if the market comes back down then your order could be executed then at that price but you also have the option to cancel i know some people have had problems with cancelling sunday swap came out just before i went on this video and said they have fixed the issue for some people with cancel also one other thing to check on cc vault as well if you're using it is under settings up here make sure you've set your collateral so when you come down here you turn this on and if it hasn't got a utxo that it can use when you turn it on it will give you a prompt to sign a transaction what that is basically doing is sending five ada to a new utxo on your wallet so it can use that as collateral if there's already a utxo there with between five and 20 ada it can use that but on most wallets it's probably not going to have that so you need to have collateral set when you're going to try and cancel an order and do some other things on the exchange as well because you are interacting with a smart contract so that's something that was affecting a lot of different people also on cc vault as well when you are moving between wallets so some people have multiple wallets like i have here i've used more than one wallet so far to make transactions so if i wanted to change to this wallet here tokens when i come over here there's enable dapp account so when i go back to sunday swap then and if i refresh this you'll see the wallet has changed up here to the new wallet address that i'm on now so that's how you can change between wallets as well when you're looking to provide collateral on nami so if you're having issues i have heard of more people having issues on nami in the last few days as well due to the mempool being completely full simple terms it just means there's so many transactions sitting there trying to execute it's getting stuck there's obviously a lot more technical explanations on that but at a very high level that's what it means for nami when you come in here click on the little icon up here go down to collateral and make sure you've got your collateral set down here as well so they're kind of the main things that people are having issues with next week i will get into the providing liquidity and yield farming basically if you want to provide liquidity so go into liquidity here you can see i haven't done it on this wallet yet click on provide liquidity select the pairs that you want for me personally i've been waiting for the prices to die down so for me i don't want to get into it where i think one price is going to skyrocket and the other one mightn't so i've been waiting for the markets to settle but say you wanted to provide ada and world mobile here what you do is i would put up 1000 ada and it says that i would need 1687 world mobile you select the fee what is the best tier that you want to get involved in and then provide liquidity when you provide liquidity you will then get back an lp token and if you go over here to liquidity again down here you see the yield farming part down here so you can then provide that lp token and start earning yield farming rewards as well but i will cover them in another video as well so in terms of scalability what's actually going to help improve the performance here if we go in here to twitter you can see the next improvement that we are getting on chain the next scalability one is increased Plut plutus script memory units and what this is going to do so pi talked about it on a live stream i was on the other day with him and he talked about that what this one is going to do currently when the scoopers are running they are picking up three transactions which is three swaps or whatever is going on on the decks it can put three of them into one transact or into one scoop when this comes out in three days time they were hoping to have this for launch just didn't line up when this comes out they'll be able to put up to eight transact or eight transactions into one scoop which should really improve the process the speed that your transactions are at or that your swaps actually go through there's a lot more scalability coming over this year as well 
This blog post here talks about all the different types that are going to come. Increased block size. I think we're going to get another one after the Plutus script units are increased. This is the next one we're going to get. We did get one of these. Was it the end of November or beginning of December? I can't remember. But we're going to get another increase as well in the next few weeks, which will mean that we can get more transactions into a block, which should ease some of the pressure on chain. But look, things aren't going to slow down in terms of number of transactions. It's only going to get bigger and bigger. There is a lot more solutions that are coming, but I'm going to do a dedicated video on that. These ones here, the script enhancements, are the ones that will really help a lot of the DeFi projects as well with reference scripts and different things that are there where they don't have to include their script in every transaction either. So I'll talk about all of that in another video. In terms of just talking about this is only going to get bigger, if you look at DeFi Llama, they now have Sunday Swap included here as well. Currently just under 80 million TVL on Sunday Swap. And once you start to see more and more Cardano applications added here, there's only going to be more and more activity on the blockchain. So the scalability, scalability solutions really are needed. And hopefully we will start to see them rolled out fairly quickly. I think that was about it on the decks for now. I don't want to get into doing too much. That was the basics of a swap. How you can check your orders then to see what's going on. You can see this is another wallet that I was testing on. I was putting through some orders on Liquid. So I got the Liquid airdrop. So I was putting in some orders here using that for my testing and they went through okay. So that's about it. Questions that you have, let me know down below. I'll include them in a future video. Maybe even do a live stream next week to take questions live. Hopefully this has helped. If it has, please share it out there. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a like and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.